The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Queen's University. People are adopting and fostering pets in unprecedented numbers across the globe amidst COVID-19. While it does a world of good for the animal, people might just be unwittingly setting themselves up for better mental health during the pandemic. Pets encourage health protective behaviors such as eating well or going out for a walk. When COVID-19 started, L.F. Carver had just begun her research, asking people between their 30s and 90s about their relationships with their pets. At the time of the preliminary survey, almost all of them are spending their time at home, either alone or with family. For others, pets were their only companions. Carver is the assistant professor and privacy and ethics officer at the Center of Advanced Computing, Queen's University, Ontario. So what was it like having animal companions with them during COVID-19? Answers included words like comforting, good or great, and helpful. Many who had worked full time said that they were enjoying time with their animal and getting to see what their pet does all day. Others said that they would be lost without their pet. Not a single person surveyed would choose a robot pet over a live animal, even those who currently did not have a pet. For them, it wasn't just about companionship, it was about emotional connection. Participants said, pets are unique, they make them smile and they love them. These survey results are similar to those found during non-pandemic research. Pets stave off loneliness, they help people become more active and provide comfort. For many, it may be the only thing between isolation and despair. Pets are important for our well-being. We have to develop programs to support isolated people. When money is short, people will sometimes feed their dogs before they feed or get medications for themselves. Carver writes in the end, As the economic reality of sustained unemployment unfolds, it is important for public services to consider not only food security for humans, but also for their non-human companions in order to prevent the possibility of a tsunami of pet abandonment due to an inability to provide care. This story was adapted from L.F. Carver's conversation article, How the Coronavirus Pet Adoption Boom is Reducing Stress.